Siberia. Five million square miles of ice and snow. Three quarters of Russia's landmass containing one fifth of her people. At its heart, the region long known as the Yugra, with temperatures way below freezing for up to seven months a year. Yet some live here all year round, just as their ancestors have done for centuries. Alexei and Abdukaya Moldunov are among the 28,000 surviving members of the Kanti tribe. During the coldest months of the year, they corral their 200 reindeer deep in the shelter of the forest. In the summer, their herd wanders, and the Moldenovs wander with them. The reindeer roam far and wide searching for food. They cross rivers looking for pastures. They use the scent on the wind to find where the grass is good. Their camp is their winter home. They have no phone, electricity supply, or gas. But they're free to follow their reindeer. If your health is good, then it's easy living here. And it's a great joy to be out here with reindeer. They're just like human beings. Sometimes I sing to them. If you call one and sing him a song, he'll listen to you happily and run to you. In times gone by, their children and grandchildren would have been with them. But all the Moldenovs' young ones are grown up and have gone to live in the towns. It's easier when your children are there to help. I went to see if it's warmer. The grass is under snow and uh, more snow has fallen. I just hope there won't be too much ice on top. All responsibility for the herd rests with them and they are growing old. I have been herding reindeer since I was very young. So this is almost my 60th year. So much time has gone by. 57 years. Their son, Misha, raises his family 200 miles away in the small settlement of Lyamina. One shop, one road. In provincial Russia, the prosperous few have cars, TV, phones, and increasingly, the internet. But for most, life remains simple. Hello, how can I help you? Do you want some ice cream? No, thanks. Tea. At the local school, Misha's job is to pass on the ancient skills and traditions he learned from his father, like pitching the nomad's tent, the chum. This chum is made from tent material. A real one would be made from reindeer hide. You need about 60 hides to make a good chum. Try and keep it straight. Did you see where it fell? But Misha's heart lies in the wilderness where his parents brought him up. The communists sent him away at the age of seven for a state-run education, part of their attempt to wipe out Kanti culture. Since then, Misha, now 33, has spent much of his life in towns. But with spring coming, the reindeer must move and his parents need his help. It worries me that they are old. Sometimes it's hard for my father to take the reindeer out and herd them. But I feel torn to bits, because I need to work here to feed my children. Misha and his six-year-old son, Dano, prepare for the long trip to the forest. For Dano, it'll be a chance to learn how his ancestors always lived. 
For Misha, a chance to teach his son a way of life he can always carry with him in his heart. <laughs> 